Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and do you have some ugly scrapbook paper that you just don't know what to do with but you'd like to transform it into something a little more imaginative, something creative that you might like to use as a background or maybe a base for a cover for a journal or something like that? Well, look, come on along for the ride. Let's play with some ugly scrapbook paper and let's see if we can make it pretty. All right, all right, let's just have some fun with it. And let's face it, it's ugly anyway, so there isn't, we can't do it any harm, right? So just rummage around in your scrapbook uh, papers and maybe have a bunch of those pads and maybe like some of the pages out of them, but not all of them. And here I had uh, some that I transformed very easily. It didn't look anything like this. It looked along the idea of something like this. This is probably something that I wouldn't use. I got this a little wet, sorry. But uh, uh, as is, um, I don't have kids or anything like that. So I would just like to transform this to look like something different. And um, what I did here with this prototype was I played with some distress crayons and some gelatos and I changed the color of the base and then I went ahead and did a um, I used a stencil and used some uh, white gesso and then some gold paint and so the next one I'm going to make is a similar concept basically the same idea except I'm going to use black gesso instead of white gesso so that you can see the difference it makes okay so here we go this is the the one with white gesso so I thought that looked out kind of cool it came out sort of neat right something you could play with all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I did was I took some uh, gelatos, that Faber-Castell gelatos. I, I don't know if they have to be brand name or not, but basically I just uh, did this because I'm trying to give the base some hue, hues, did some coloring, and then what color was this in case anybody asks? This is metallic mint, okay? This one is metallic blueberry, and uh, just trying to also use up what I have. I'll get some of that. Okay. And then what's this one? This one is a uh, strawberry. Okay. Going to town here. I don't know what we're doing. Just doing it. Going crazy here with this stuff. All right. And then I'm going to come back again with the metallic mint just to give it a, a, a little border that's similar to the other side. The corner's good, that always helps. It's just like, you know, I'm freewheeling the crayons here, nothing to it. Then I'm gonna use this very uh, special tool, it's called uh, fingers. And I'm just gonna smoosh it, just like this. Uh, the gelatos are kind of a waxy a little bit, but they're different than a regular crayon because just the heat of your hand allows it to melt and move so you can color things easily by doing this, which is kind of cool. It's almost like a makeup, I want to say. Oop, you need to go away. That's my, my cord to my mic. <laughs> All right, oops. So here we are. So we got just got some uh, uh, color moving around here. See how it moves? It really does move with the heat of your hand and it's not really a hot day or anything. So um, you can do this. And I think you could also do it with a baby wipe Yes, that's my African Grey Holly. Uh, whistling approval in the background. Okay, so we already have that. We've changed it quite a bit dramatically already, right? And just blending these colors together so they kind of uh, rainbow into each other, which I think is kind of cool. All right. And uh, that's, what, that's what my hand looks like. And this is where you, you definitely need a baby wipe to come in help with that a little bit just to oops sorry sorry what have I got oh hang on I have to throw a water bottle there you go go get it go get it oh we still have to sleep <laughs> okay um but yeah you can you can also move this around a little bit with a uh, baby wipe it does move the color as well so we have a base already how that has transitioned that's kind of cool now let's grab a stencil I'm just going to grab the same same one my my favorite <laughs> tree stencil. I use this one so much. Um, okay, so I'm going to put it down because it just happily fits on the page. I have no idea how this is going to turn out with black gesso, but I'm, I'm just going to go for it. And I have a, uh, this is like an old sea sponge. And uh, let me use the base here. Can you see what's going on? Let me make sure you can see everything. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's just put some in here so I can redaub. Okay, let's hope this works. Here we go messy messy 
Okie dokie, pokey smokey. Who knows what is going to happen here? So just getting the outlook oh, moved a little bit, that's okay. I don't know, what's it gonna look like? Is it gonna look goofy? Is it gonna look amazing? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, right? Wait for the big reveal here when I lift up this stencil. Now you can tape your stencil down, but it's on a waxy surface, so I don't know how well it's gonna hold. And I'm wondering if I should go around the edges and, oops, um, do the edges of the paper. Well, let me just see what we have here, first of all. See what this looks like. Any areas that I missed, I'm gonna have to pause and go rinse this off. Okay, ready? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, I think that looks really cool. I mean, look how fast we transformed that. Let me do a little more down here, just so we say we did. There. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Okay, let me go rinse this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And actually, I think that one came out looking really cool. And it doesn't look anything like the um, ch children's blocks that are on the back. You can sort of still see them if you look really close, but it's just sort of a, almost like a dreamscape at this point now. So there's so many fun and cool things. So here's the, the one with the white gesso. And then here's the one with the black. I think black really pops. Hey, let's face it, that, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we can do. We got some time. Oh, six minutes in. Holy mackerel. Okay, let's say you have something like this. Now, what can we do with that? Well, we could do some stamping on it. Why don't we do that? Um, let me try just, I have this leaf. And let me get some ink get some black ink i think that might look kind of cool so i think this is like a basket weave design something like that kind of you know nothing too exciting about it just is what it is just holding its own there well let's just see if we can have some fun with this uh uh ugly craft paper and uh, craft scrapbook paper let's see if we can make it look pretty or at least something that we would use no that didn't come out very good did it no okay that might be why some of these end up in the used pile I think I got to rock this one. Okay. Oh, better. Okay. So we're giving this a fall theme. Let's see how far we can go with fall in this baby. Okay. Rocking forward and backward to get the whole print. Apparently this one has some um, bowingness to it. Okay. Just got to work with the stamp. I don't know. I don't know. Is that how it's done? Some off the edge. I don't think I can really hurt my craft mat any more underneath than I already have. It's Pretty bumpy and, uh, you know, used. And uh, yes, I got a new mat and I don't use it that often because I'm afraid to monkey it up because I know I will. But I've decided in the new year I'm, I'm going to use it. So uh, I think I'm just going to, you know, come what may. I don't know. I just love this old mat, though. It just, I don't know. There's something about it. <laughs> We've been through so much together, I think. I think that's what it is. I'm just crazily bonded to it at this point. Okay, so I like that already better. I mean, this might be something that I might use, but let's just let's just like go to town with this baby and see what we can do with it. All right, so let's uh, let's do some words. Here's a spirit. That's kind of nice. The spirit of autumn. We'll just put some words. Okay, random. So you can almost design your own paper. You know, it's kind of cool. Why not, right? We have, uh, we have the tools. We have the toys. Let's do this. Let's do this. What else can we do here? That's how, I want to see how far we can take this. Where can we take it? Now, um, I thought, let me put my toys away. Um, maybe we could uh, put some birdie feet. I, I think this is calling for some birdie feet. What do you think? Birdie feet? Okay. Um, yeah. I wonder if I can get the birdie feet in gold paint. Oh, I don't know. That might be messy. You better, do, you know, I have, I have somewhere. I, what, what's that? Is that it? No, I have gold ink in an ink pad. I'm going to pull it out. No, that's not it. All right, hang on. Let me look for it. All right, this one apparently is new, but I bought it a long time ago, honestly, so I don't know if it's still going to be good. Maybe it's all dry. I think I got it at a Tuesday morning. 
we shall see. We shall see. All right, birdie feet. Oh, that's the thing that's bone. Oh, no, I don't think, I think that's had it. That's had it. Oh, maybe. I'm going to try. Nothing. Big fat nothing. Okay, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> um, what? Hello, bumpkin. What? What? Uh, we got to do something that's going to show. Maybe we need blue. Maybe we need blue. So I think blue will show. Let me grab a blue. Oh. Holly's making his funny sounds. Where's my blue? Oh, not that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, make a big mess here on the floor with the inks. Oh, lordy me. All right. About to give up on the blue. How about purple? I'll take purple. Maybe purple will show up. Okay, here we go. Purple? Oh, I got purple feet. All right. Let's try and do some hop, coordinated hopping here. Okay. Gonna hop. Oh, I didn't get too far there. Can only one hop per dance in the ink bot pad. Okay, we've got some birdie feet. I think, I feel like we need some gold or something. Okay, how we can, we, we do have a lot of gold paint. Okay, let's try something. We gotta do something with the gold paint. All right. All right, so we got lots of birdie feet. I think we did well there. Uh, we did our darndest. All right, now how are we going to get gold on there? Well, we can try finger technique. All right, let's try that. I'm going to put some on the leaf. Down the... I don't know. A little bit on the leaf or just like touches of it on the leaf? Well, let's, let's try it. Maybe just touches, huh? Little finger touches. Let's see how that looks. Is it showing up? It is showing up, isn't it? Okay. Definitely is showing up. All right. So you can see how different these are turning out to look from their originals, which means we have a lot more variety in our craft room than we might realize. So if you have a bunch of ugly craft paper or scrapbook paper and it's just not doing it for you, you know what I mean? You're just thinking, oh, I don't really like that pattern, but I hate to throw away the paper, so I'm gonna leave it on my shelf and it's just gonna collect dust for a hundred years. This may be the time of year to say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna do something with this stuff. We're gonna make something that looks like that. <laughs> now, uh, I think that's better than where, where it came from. So I think this has possibilities. So I kind of like that. And we did this one. That's kind of cool, right? All right, let's see if we can make another one. All right, put you there. And how about, oh, here's something probably I wouldn't use, you know, that sort of like, whoa, whoa, okay. Um, so let's try a different technique. Okay, does anybody have chalks? Or um, I think they're called dry pastels. No, there's a word for them. It's like, um, not wet, I, I can't remember. Um, one of them, chalk, just think chalk, pearlescent chalk. Okay, this might be one you might have. Or you might have something that looked like this back in the day. Okay, so maybe it's time to pull those out. Let's see what this does. Now I feel like, I wonder, I almost feel like I wanna, I wanna do something with glue stick to kinda give it something to grab onto. And this might be completely nuts so, but let's try it. But I feel like we gotta have something for it to grab onto or it's just not gonna grab onto anything. Um, all right, now we need a little sponge or something. Um, let's grab this. All right, let's grab one of these little ink pad things. I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's try. Let's try this intense blue here. This might be ridiculousness. We don't know until we try, we're going in. All right, this is not working well. Okay, so the, the, the glue was not my answer to everything. Let me see if I can get this out of here and I can maybe draw right on it. Let's try that. Apparently I don't use these very much. Okay, let's just try this. Draw right on top of the glue. It's getting all gluey and there's lots of chalk dust. That's what I was kind of worried about. The chalk dust would be everywhere and apparently it is going everywhere, but let me see if some of it sticks. And this might be a complete disaster. <laughs> this might be 
the idea that didn't work at all. There's half the chalk gone. Okay, I feel like at least I used it. There's my chalk dust. All right. That, we have that's pretty nasty looking. Yeah, what are we gonna do about that? Well, let's put away the chalk and not use that idea. <laughs> I don't know, the pearlized chalk, you think that could save it? I mean, they have this cute little thing with the puff ball. And then you come in here and you do that. And let's see if we can go over the gluey areas. That doesn't feel very good either, but it is grabbing. But, you know, it's just not the prettiest thing I ever did see. But we can add a little color here and there. Let's just add a little color here and there where I still see some wet glue. Maybe we'll try something else. Feeling like we might we might need to pull out the... Uh, you know what, we, well, we could add a napkin or something like that to it. That could work. I don't know how well it'll stick now that I have all this stuff, but maybe let's try that. All right, okay, I got a napkin here. I don't know, this napkin's not doing anything. Let's see if this can make it any better. All right, let's go ahead and put more glue down. Yeah, that's like what we need, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, more, more gluey glue. Okay, we're just gonna have to do something to this page because uh, this one is like in, in ICU at this point. And let's just see what we got. You got that. We can do some kind of translucent effect. Okay, that feels really sticky, like really sticky. Okay, let's put some more glue down. All right, and we're gonna napkinize this thing. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, it goes really bad. We can just collage the heck out of it and still save the paper. That's right. Because we've got scraps, right? All I see are flip-flop feet, and we need to hide these. Um, all right, so let's try this. Let's try it from this angle. All right, here we go. Putting it down. Can you see? There we go. Okay. Okay, you go over there. I think I'm going to use that leftover gold. I think it's going to come in here. There's something under there. All right, I'll put you down. We just have that. <laughs> Got to do something with that. That. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's grab something from the proverbial pile and we're gonna put it down. Yeah, we're gonna put it down. Well, that's a nice old letter. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, how about some how about some music paper? That might work. Yeah, maybe whoop, it's already down. How about that? Yeah, there you go. I guess I could have torn the edges a bit or something. All right. All right. All right. This is like post, post collage tearing. What is that? Nobody knows. All right. So now this requires super surgery. Okay. Let's just stick it all down. Let's get the brayer. Oh, I know what I could do. Okay. Squashing it all down well. Okay. All right. Actually, it's starting to look kind of, kind of interesting. I don't see kind of seeing something there I like. I don't know exactly, but let's just see. Um, I need, this is what I never go for, but I'm going to go for it. The, uh, I'm going to get some stickles in sandstone and I'm just going to squirt and play and I'm going to squirt and smudge. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to put some around. This stuff's going to, you know, this stuff is going to smudge. So I'm just going to go for a sticky smudgy. Yeah, I just need to use up my stuff because I got I got excess of some things and it just needs to be used. Okay, let's just see what happens. We're going to try finger tool here. It's either going to be really cool or a complete um, magical disaster. Okay, okay, just doing different directions. It's kind of cool. Could leave it in the drop format, but maybe I just want a sparkly page. You know, sometimes we like a little bling. Okay, all right, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I don't visually see the flip-flops as much as I did in the beginning. They're sort of still there, but let me get give you a closer look so you can see. Can you see the, the shinies? Yeah, I've got my glitter now. Still looking a little flippity-floppity, but not as bad as before. Okay, we've reduced the flippity-floppity-ness, and I think this is going to, okay, we're just going to have to come in with some of the gold paint and see what happens. We're just going to put some random touches of gold paint on top of this to mask and because I got it out here I might as well use it right mm-hmm I'm just gonna do a big old layering technique and make sure we use up our supplies yeah there we go I'm feeling good about this before the day is over that's right 
I'm going to take it home. Keep going. What, what's the worst thing I could, I ruin an ugly piece of paper. It's okay. It's okay if that happens, right? It is. Where's my glue stick? My, I didn't have enough. Didn't have enough down here. Okay. And if that doesn't stay down, then we'll just stick some, we'll stick some leftover paper on it. And we'll maybe do collaging on top where we need it. Because sometimes we need it a little. There we go. Okay. A little more gold to just to blend it into the design. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool, right? Okay. What is this? I don't know. It's just in the middle all by itself. Maybe it needs a little something, huh? Um, I'm digging in the scrap box. Uh, oh. I got this, I think this is from a tissue experiment we did the other day. Maybe we want to put that on there. Okay, let's try that. Uh, put it here. A little wider. All right. And do we want, like a torn edge would be better, but it is what it is. Okay, let's just get her down. Get her down. Oh, it looks we had two layers. Oh, that means we have more to work with. That's okay. There, there we go. Now we're softening the edge so it's not such a sharp line there. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Maybe I'll go all the way around and we'll soften that entire edge. Okay, let's borrow this. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere in the land of backgrounds. Okay, get down, stay down. <laughs> Come on along, no, you had you get in there. Okay, okay, whoop, you gotta stay down too. See, so you need a little more glue. You always need a little more glue with these things, seems like. Okay, down, down, down. Stay down, down. <laughs> All right, if it doesn't work, we'll mod podge it. All right, so hey, I, I think that actually took on a new life. You have to admit, it looks a little bit more ethereal, a little bit more um, maybe fairy-like. And if you have any fairy stuff, you could maybe put a little fairy motif on it there. Um, let me get some more glue. More glue here. All right, Got some of that there. And that yep there 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 it's at there we go um yeah so i think this has possibilities now i i can see some life coming into the piece as a background it could be used as a signature page um as a, a journal cover or something like that. it's actually looking kind of pretty at this moment and i don't see in your face flip-flops they're still there because we know they're there but if you didn't know they're there would you say flip-flops you still might okay i hear you I hear you. All right, we're going to have to do something else. All right, fine. We will. We will. I have these distress crayons, which I never know what to do. So let's try and play with those. Let's try and disguise. This is either going to be wonderful or horrible. Um, let's do a little test to see what this looks like on white. What time is it? 23. Okay. Um, let's, let's draw some flowers. Yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm going to turn the flip-flops into some kinds of strange looking flowers. All right, if you're really looking like a flip-flop, you're going to be a flower. Okay. Yeah, you look like a flip-flop. Come here. All right. You look like a flip-flop. <laughs> How about you, flip-flop? There you go. All right, make it a little longer. Um, oh, total flip-flop over here. Okay. And um, flippity floppity, yeah, okay, oh, flippity floppity, okay, put a flower. All right, what do we got now? It's, okay, here, what are you eating? Oh, are you eating Edith Hold? Oh, you're eating an old letter from 1892. All right, that does it, you gotta move out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, so Mama has to move the scrap box. That's all there is to it. All right. Okay, that was that was my fault, not his. Hey, I'm not in there anymore. Nope, stop chewing on the letter. <laughs> I don't want you to eat it. Okay, nope. I'm going to put the garbage in front of the scrap box for now. We're saved. Okay. Flip-flop. Here, flower. So now we're going for a more random sort of whimsical flower design. This is called taking it to the outer limit of space when 
you don't know what to do and there's there's no love lost here because this was paper that was just going to be trashed anyway had a bunch of scraps weren't doing anything they needed a home some flowerage okay Got enough flowers there not looking like flip-flops you kind of look like a flip-flop okay Get you there all right anybody else look like a flip-flop i mean really if you didn't know they were flip-flops here's one okay maybe i want to put something in the center of those flowers or leave them be maybe i should have some some flower come out like yeah like that there yeah flower 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 there kind of creeping over onto this page okay here flower 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 what do you think worse better the same you know it's all an experiment what are you eating <laughs> all right that's a safe paper that's okay all right but uh boy did that change face right doesn't look so much there's a flip-flop i totally see it now can you see that flip-flop i gotta do something about it all right let's let's have a flower encroaching here now we'll do some downies okay all right and uh i think that, that's looking kind of cool i mean we seem to need a flower here i'm sorry just put one just a little one okay i love them it looks like a bumblebee or something all right this is a different kind of flower yeah okay it's a lumpy one it's got a lot of stuff on it yep okay maybe they need they need little uh, stems i wonder if this stuff will smear probably feels like it would after like it wants to it wants to be something yep okay some yeah here we go you can go down there what, what time is it? Oh, 27. We're okay. We can still play. All right. There we go. And we're just going to have you go across. Yeah. Maybe you are going to come across here. Okay. I don't know what we're doing. Right now. We're going, we're going hog wild now. Okay. You already have a stem, but you don't. You can come across like that. Go around. How about that? That was fancy pants. All right. I think everybody has a stem at this point. Now we have stems and flowers. That's kind of cool. And uh, you got a flat, yeah, your stem, stem, stem. No little stem there. That's all right. We'll just take you down there. So as you see, there's many ways to transform a piece of paper. And you don't have to deal with the flip-flops of the world if you're not willing or if, you're no, if you just don't like them. You know what I mean? I like flip-flops as much as anybody else to wear. I wear them all the time. Yeah, especially here in Florida. It's flip-flop land, but maybe not on my scrapbook paper. Um, so... I just wanted to show you different ways that you can transform your boring scrapbook paper into something that might be a little more fun and uh, maybe more user friendly, like something that you would actually like. I'm starting to, this one's growing on me now. The more I look at it, I'm actually really starting to like it. So you can do soft and subdued or you can do uh, intense and crazy. Um, a million and one ways to do this. So I hope you had fun. I had fun when my fingers are dirty and covered in, in stuff. I know I had fun and I love spending time with you guys. So I hope you're having fun. Make, make sure pull out some of your old stuff and just mess with it. Just mess with it and just throw all the rules away and just give yourself the freedom that if you completely screw it up, it's A-OK. -okay. It was only an ugly piece of paper you didn't like anyway, but you decided to give it a go and breathe new life into it. And even if you don't like it, it's at least you had fun trying. And you, maybe you learned something. What works? What kind of mediums work with each other? Which ones repel each other? Which ones stick well together? It's all a grand adventure. So I hope you embrace this journey and embrace this challenge and just go for it and have fun and play with your papers. Whether they be ugly or pretty, just play with all of them. Have fun, crinkle them, glue them, cut them, all that kind of stuff. And um, so if you found uh, this of value or you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell. Check out on my uh, drop down description box below the video for my Amazon store, my Etsy shop, my monthly emailed newsletter. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time podcasts with your audio and free to listen to Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join some Facebook group. We're having lots of fun over there uh, sharing ideas and 
Oh, I'm just getting just having so much fun doing weekly and monthly challenges and it's all about creating so come on over and play with us or just hang out and uh, just get inspired by all the amazingness that you see and uh, all all skill levels are welcome and encouraged and um, just oh, look who I have here oh yeah 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 here's the little oh, there was it was paper and I chewed it she said something about reckless abandon. Yep. <laughs> well, I can't blame him. He hear it. He hears it all day around here, nonstop. So, yep. Take care, everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.